So Felix Cash made a return to the ring after I think it was 10 months out since his last fight against Madiev, which was, yeah, start of this year. He returned against a guy called Celso. I think that's how you pronounce it, Neves, who's from Portugal. He won the fight on points over eight rounds. He did suffer a cut in the fight. It wasn't a particularly uh, difficult fight for him to win in the sense that you know, he was never in danger of losing it. Although on the referee's scorecard, it was 77-75 to Felix Cash. So that's very close. I know Felix Cash didn't like that scorecard. He thought it was ridiculous. Maybe some of you guys agree. In any event, Felix Cash definitely deserved to win. But it wasn't his most convincing performance. And Cash has been complaining about the fact that he hasn't been as active as he wants to be. There have been several fights cancelled and what have you. He's been, I'm assuming, putting pressure on Eddie Hearn to get him out more frequently. And they're looking to match him against Amo Williams, who's another Eddie, Hearn's, Eddie Hearn fighter from the USA. 26 years of age, 13 and 09 KOs. Felix Cash, of course, is 16 and 0 with 10 KOs. Now, they had a bit of argy bargy after the fight, you know, after Felix Cash beat Neves. Him and uh, Amo Williams were both ringside, and Felix Cash mentioned something about what Amo had said online about pulling up on him, and then he shoved Amo Williams, and, you know, it was all handbags, really. But in terms of these guys fighting each other next, some people are going to look at Felix Cash's performance here against Celso Neves and say, well, Amo Williams has got this, right? Cash didn't look impressive, nor did he look that impressive against Madiev. He struggled in that fight. I remember him, yeah, it says here, look, Cash cut over the left eye down once in the second in an attempt. Yeah, I remember that now. That was a real difficult fight for him. That's the first time I'd seen uh, Madiev fight, and he was a real good counterpuncher. I was impressed by Madiev's counterpunching in that fight. And Felix Cash, as I say, struggled there. But prior to that, he did stop Denzel Bentley in three rounds. And considering the fact that Denzel Bentley in his last fight went a distance with Zanabek, Aleem Kanuli, and, you know, gave a good account of himself, you've really got to say that that was a good result for Felix Cash. You know, being able to get uh, Denzel Bentley out of there with such ease. So good performance by Felix Cash there. But in his last couple fights, obviously it's a bit, been a bit more difficult. Maybe it is down to inactivity. Maybe it's down to, you know, styles. Could be a number of different factors. But if he is more active, then I'm assuming we're going to see better from him. Whether it'll be good enough to beat the likes of Amma Williams remains to be seen, but I'm expecting better from him. Now, personally, I haven't been that impressed by Amma Williams to date. Not that he's a bad fighter, not that I'm writing him off, but I haven't seen anything from Amma Williams that made me sit up and think, okay, this guy is the future of the division or anything like that. You know, these guys are 160 pounders, middleweights. So, and obviously Eddie Hearn as his promoter has been talking him up and saying he's amazing and one of the best prospects in the world, but you know, the kind of thing you'd expect a promoter to say, I haven't seen that level of ability from him yet. If he has it, you know, maybe he'll produce it at some stage, but I haven't personally seen it yet. Therefore, the point I, I really want to make here is that I think that Felix Cash against Amma Williams is what, 50-50? You know, I mean, I, I don't see why not. Felix Cash has, if you look at the level of opposition they've beat, Felix Cash has arguably beaten better opposition. So, uh, I don't know, Amma Williams, in fact, did Amma Williams struggle in one of his fights? I haven't seen all of them, to be fair, but I think I might remember somebody saying he struggled in one of his fights. Maybe he did, but yeah, I've never been blown away by Williams, so I look forward to the Felix Cash fight if it happens. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, Cash's last win was over Celso Neves, and Austin Williams' last win was over Simon Madsen, which was you know, fairly recently as well, on the 3rd of December. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about that one.